Guess what day it is today? It's a new lamp day. Here I have the Corsa lamp. Uh, it, it's the second cheapest desk lamp from IKEA, but what I want to do is a, a camera stand because currently I'm working with uh, another setup that not it's not really that great. It's it's kind of similar. I have camera mounted to the lamp using uh, another uh, camera stand, so it's kind of weird and it's kind of hard to work around this. So I would have I would like to have a separate camera stand just for recording of those videos. Uh, what we can already see, this lamp is for one bulb and smaller one and, and it's only for 40 watts bulb so they probably went cheap with uh, some kind of uh, uh, paint uh, on this lamp or maybe on the uh, bulb mount we will see. Uh, let's open this. 40 watts isn't that great because well, what you want to have is and maybe a hologan bulb. I know that LEDs are uh, really hip these days, but uh, they are, don't have a great color rendering index. You can read about this for a little bit more on Wikipedia. But uh, well, you know, what it basically does it uh, shows the colors exactly as they are, and also will give you a better. Uh, it, it's better for your sight in general. And uh, well, uh, if you. Uh, put this light to a prism, you, you will get a full spectrum with the halogen on or standard bulb. Uh, whereas, if you put through the uh, prism the LED light, what the hell? Uh, I don't need it. Uh, then, uh, then, then you will have uh, uh, exactly the spectrum. I mean, let's say the red, blue, and green, or something like that. So. It wouldn't be a uh, full spectrum, you know, the sm smooth, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's basically a smooth spectrum. Yeah, that, that's the difference between, oh my, it's pretty heavy. Uh, that's the difference between, yeah, let's, <laughs> Uh, that's the difference between the cheapest one and, and this one. It has a stand and it's really heavy. Uh, the cheapest one has only a clamp that you would screw down to your desk, but that would put a lot of strain on your desk and it isn't really that great. Oh, what do you have here? It, <laughs> that's, that's pretty damn that they put it on the stand, but I guess you have to put it somewhere. Uh, you have the little screw here. I will talk about this in a moment. And yeah, here is the the part that you would use to angle the lamp. And here is the lamp itself. They have uh, this little uh, weird switch that isn't disassemble. Uh, that you cannot disassemble this. It's probably glued together, so it's it's not really that great. Uh, so you you cannot extend this cable if you want. You would have to make. Uh, uh, you mount another switch here, and this is exactly what I was looking for. So there are two strong springs over here, and another two over here. Let's just mount them. And once you put it in the into the stand, you can angle this the way you like. And yeah, it it, it should work. It should work around this, uh, especially. Uh, th this part over here, uh, what I can see already, because I wanted to mount it uh, like so. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, that, that's why I need a new stand. So I want to mount it like so, so you won't be able to see the uh, the uh, the stand itself uh, on on the shot. Because if I mount it exactly like they want me to, with a there is a screw here over here. And if I yeah screw this down, I can't rotate it anymore uh, to, to that position. Okay, so let's take a look how can I mount the camera on the other side because I won't be using this. Yeah, well, I'm thinking here uh, they went with a cheap version of the uh, of the mount over here of the uh, bolt mount. So. Uh, it's not probably the reason 
the fork was it's not uh, the the paint on on here that will go black if it overheats uh, from the bowl, but it, it's actually this one because this is plastic, and yeah, it's it's not really that great. I will disassemble this and probably will reuse the cable as a USB power supply on my uh, camera stand. Okay, it's time to see what do we we have here exactly. Uh, there is a Allen circuit over here, uh, plastic one. <laughs> that's that's. Kind of weird, because, but maybe they just want to put a strain on the cable, not exactly uh, cut this through, so people, when they will screw this down, won't be cutting the cable. It's really weird part. Okay, let's see if I'm able to uh, move this a little bit further. No, not really. Okay, so let, let's remove the uh, this plastic holder. There is a screw on this side, and bolt on the other yeah let me just delicately remove this so if I expand this a little bit it's really tight yeah you probably don't want to keep this out of context um, yeah here I have it so I'm not sure how should I go on with disassembling this because it seems that they actually went and uh, terminated this nicely. There is a nice nylon, I think nylon sleeve over here so you are not actually pushing down on the insulation of the cable and yeah, that, that's, that's really nicely done. Uh, I guess I'm not sure how, well, how, how they are making them so cheaply because it, this one uh, I check on the website and in the UK it's 15 uh, pounds in Poland if you uh, convert it into pounds it's about 12 and yeah, we, we get cheaper stuff but we don't earn exactly as much a bit of additional content you have to uh, press uh, pinch this uh, really hard on the sides so like this then you will be able to not sure if you can see exactly and then you will be able to just remove it delicately it's not really great and you won't be able to keep it in uh, a nice shape after that but yeah as you can see this is, this goes out there is this nylon part that would be pinching the uh, would be pinching the and uh, the cable and if I unclip this too so there is and then just put your screwdriver in here so we can release the cable yeah. uh, it snapped but either the way I managed to release those yeah those two cables from the sockets that are even crimped not sure if you can see that uh, and that, that's it so so I can remove the little lamp holder and the nylon part and the plastic part and I have uh, clean cables right now that you can see here and the place where I want to mount the well basically camera uh, it's staked in, in here so, but what I wanted to do is uh, have a bolt for this uh, and then screw the camera over here so I will be able to angle it exactly with how I want it. Uh, that, that's an option and uh, I will probably have to drill this over in, in here and see uh, what I can do with this because uh, I think this is, is simply the uh, other part of the stake part so that should be fine. Well, that's another part of the board when it rained. Uh, yeah, let's see what we have here. Wonder if, yeah, that's still a small. Let me find a better drill. Alrighty, so with bigger holes, the screw can come through. And uh, let me put some bolts on it. So I can latch it in place. I'm not sure what I can do more with this 
to stabilize this, but I guess if I screw this in, it should be fairly okay. Uh, and on this side, I will have to add another bolt. Maybe I should do that on both sides. Give me a second. As you can see, I'm basically done. Uh, those two keep the shaft, shaft, uh, the bolt shaft in place. Uh, those two will regulate this, the how how much space would be on this side. So I can, uh, if I unscrew this, I can leave a little bit uh, more space on the uh, outside, and uh, that will adjust on where the uh, where the screwing of the holder could stop. And yeah, the, it, it still can rotate. Uh, but if I make it a bit more tight, it should just stop. Uh, so here it is. Uh, here's my setup. So uh, I can shoot basically any angle and then uh, use those joints to bend this over. Uh, maybe in the future I will make the USB socket on this side because there are two cables here. Uh, the switch can <laughs> can be used to enable disable the socket, but maybe that's in the future uh, Or uh, maybe I'll try with a uh, light or something like that So let's try this out. Okay, here we are and this is the setup Let me focus in on it. This is the setup and I had to screw down those two screws really tightly because it began to swivel around and also there is no counterweight on this side so uh, yeah, and probably you will have to screw down the uh, the screws over here with a wrench to to make it really stable. But otherwise, you know, it's 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 really great. You can you know, work with the uh, with the camera, change the angle, change the angle like so. So if you go like this, you can be really uh, smooth with that, and it will stay like so without any issue. Uh, yeah, here we have it, pretty stable, and uh, the weight uh, that's at the end here is really great. Let me uh, transfer to this camera and show you how it looks. Show this off for a little bit, as you can see, this is the highest shot that's available, so I think uh, about 50 centimeters across uh, the table, so uh, I guess uh, one and a half feet, and uh, if you want to go into a bit more detail, you can do that. Uh, this is the lowest point and then you can also swivel the camera if you want to angle this. So let me just move the whole stand. Yeah, it's it's kind of heavy. Yeah, and yes, you can see that's the, that's the cap and you can also angle this like so. That's really nice. Uh, here you can yeah, you, you can see everything in detail and then uh, swivel it back to have a better uh, better angles. Yeah, it's really great. I I wasn't aware that it will turn out so so nicely. So if it, you you can even uh, do a rotation pan, and if you do that in a lower position, it looks looks really nicely. So that's a really great result, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you. Uh, can use this technique in your own videos and uh, please subscribe if you can yeah I hope this video was enjoyable this is a really cheap line from IKEA Forza in, in Poland it means money or dough <laughs> a bit more colloquial and so there you have it a great stand I will work on this USB power supply lighter thanks guys